welcome to my first video for Next Top Nail Artist. This week's sponsor is Jellish. Jellish asked us to create five nails inspired by travel. Jellish's full collection, Sweet Art Squadron, is inspired by aviation. So Jellish wanted us to show them destination-themed nail art. I'd also like to thank Jellish kindly for the new lamps that we were sent, the new LED 18G+. I love it. Being a solo parent and having my children young, I've yet to do much travel around the world, so this set is inspired about my future plans for travel. I have a great love for architecture and all old buildings, so these are many places I'd like to go. Chicago is definitely top of my list and hopefully I'll see you guys there next year. Pinterest is my go-to place for inspirational ideas and I can save my pins. Here is my finished design. I'm really happy with the outcome. I hope you enjoy it and if you want to see how I create this look, keep on watching. To create my little plane, I've used blue tack and moulded it into shape. I then coat it with acrylic, just one coat. To create my wings, I'm just using a plastic bag and moulding my acrylic into shape. I go ahead and attach my wings with acrylic. After a light buff, my plane is ready to paint. I've used white gel polish, top coated and used a designer thick gel paint to create my detail. For my nail tip design, I've used the world map. What I'm using is a stencil with white gel polish and then I'm curing and then placing pigment over top. I then use blue gel polish and two blue powders just to give me the ocean colour. I then top coat with a glitter top coat. I use a natural nail polish top coat to coat my stencils and I've base coated my nails so that my nails is tacky and I cut out my stencils and then apply to the nail and top coat again. After I've applied my stencils top coated, I've lightly buffed and I'm using green acrylic paint to define my countries. I add in a few extra details and slightly distress my map lines. At this point I decided I needed to change my nail tip design to reflect more of a globe feel. I'm also using velveting to give my nails a bit of extra 3D-ness. For my landmarks, I'm using the same method as earlier to do my plane wings, and I'm just using stencil and using clear acrylic to shape my pieces. Using washed out coloured acrylics, I come in paint the base of my design. I add quite a few layers of paint just to give me different textures and depth within my back painting. I come in with some lighter colours to give me my lighter shaded areas and then I just use a medium with black paint and come in do all my fine line detailing. Once I'm finished I top coat all pieces. For my Chicago lettering I'm using gel with acrylic powder and I just trace my Chicago lettering and cure. Using the same method as earlier to do my Chicago background building scapes I'm using a stencil with acrylic. After I've lightly buffed, I start painting in my Chicago buildings. I add in my window details and outlines, and then add my Chicago logo. 
for my flags I did the same method as my wings and then as they were curing I laid them over a brush just to give me motion and then I came in with gel polish, top coat and then use acrylic paints to paint my designs. Thanks for watching my video and if you like what you see remember when voting comes up to support your favourite artist.